Uh, Chris Daughtry is my guest. Now, now uh, then, let's let's get back to music. Uh, let's begin yeah. with with World on Fire, which unfortunately, when I first heard it, I thought, well, here's the sadly perfect song for the months that we're living through. So Tell me weird. about the creation of this song, because I'm I'm very happy to say uh, it, it it sounds like you're uh, you're unleashing your rock side a hell of a lot more than you have in quite some time, and and that made me really happy. It's a great song. Thank you very much. Um, and yes, the the this record is chock full of rock um i we started writing the song back in january um and uh i can i can swear on here right sure go um, ahead and no uh, fucking way don't do that chris <laughs> <laughs> we Sorry. were uh, me scott stevens and marty fredrickson uh, our producers uh we were we were working on um we were it was brand new song day we were in the studio we were ready to write something fresh and um you know, we were kind of scrolling through um, Instagram as you do when you're sitting around, you know, catching up or whatever. And this was back when Australia was on fire. And, you know, there was no shortage of police brutality even then and racial injustice uh, going on. And um, it was just like today, there's there's always bullshit, right? There's always stuff going on. And you're like, oh, this sucks. And uh, I was like, the world's on fire, man. And we were like, well, there's a song title. And we were scrolling through these song ideas that Scott had. And, and I saw this folder that said, um, fresh as fuck. And I was like, Ooh, what's that? <laughs> and it was the opening riff, uh, to what became world on fire. And, um, yeah, we just started writing the lyrics and spitballing and there was no COVID then the, the, um, uh, like maybe a, a couple months after, no, like two or three months after we wrote it, the George Floyd stuff happened and COVID. And we were just like, whoa, like we didn't change the lyrics to fit the the time. We didn't go back and try to conveniently make it work. It was like, holy shit, we wrote the song and it's all happening. Um, and it was so weird and, and it felt so relevant and, and prophetic and poignant and we were like this has to be the first single so um it sounded very convenient <laughs> but we actually we actually waited because it, it felt too convenient we we're like this is going to be a little on the nose right now so we gotta we need to we need to hold off for a little bit and so um yeah that's how it came about 